there. Well, maybe he's. Oh, and I was gonna say maybe he's originally from there and goes to Stanford. But obviously, if he's over 21, then uh, maybe he's. I don't know, a Stanford employee or alumnus. Wow, that is very smooth through forward progress. Interesting choice of attire. Uh, got like the work pants, work <laughs> shoes on. There's a nice belt. Oh, actually, those are ninja shoes. My bad. Kind of like a form-fitting shoe. I'm colorblind, so I thought they were brown back there, but they're actually red. See, I like the swing that he got there, but he needed to get it going right from the get-go. Oh, there we go. I'd like to see, I really like to see him dismount here, but he's going to take one more. No, he's oh, not. That's nice. And that is why I'm a commentator, not a clairvoyant. Although being a clairvoyant would really help with this job, I would think. Hunter Swan now on St. Lawrence Gap, and he's uh, caught it. Just barely. Catches but nice and high so he can get a big swing on the fidget spinner. He could potentially get this. Uh, a little he crooked. Needs to get it straight. Makes the catch. Immediate oh, dismount. Wow. Hunter Swan, clear number 12. That was incredible. And I tell you what, as these waves go on, we're going to see more and more and more athletes finishing this 